drops it back, spends one timer, save Patera. And then afterwards, a little back and forth. Akil Thomas got the stick up on Quinney, and then Thomas is thrown down to the ice. And Akil Thomas went down, he gets up slow, and he's in pain. So he's guarding perhaps the right arm. And Thomas is gonna go straight down the tunnel to the locker room. Akil has had issues with both of his shoulders since the juniors. So at the end of the season, we uh, discussed uh, doing an arthroscopic procedure to stabilize the shoulders. And we did that, I think, about two years ago. And he had a pretty uneventful recovery, uh, did pretty well. Came back for the following season. Uh, he immediately broke his foot. Beginning of the off season, the following year, he redislocated his left shoulder. Akil is particularly dedicated, easygoing, and very, uh, I wouldn't say quiet, but reserved. And he does not complain. None of these injuries were his fault, and you know, all he wants to do is play hockey. It's not always linear. There's things that throw, you know, throw a development path off. It's not perfect. It's an imperfect world, and, and Akil's a perfect example of that. When you're hurt, like, you just don't really feel part of the team anymore. And for me, that's just, like, weird, right? Like, I was so looking forward to having, you know, a good year with the team after being removed from it for such a long time last year. So it just kind of feels like deja vu this year. We're probably the only professional team that has the medical facility embedded in the training facility. It is tremendously beneficial for both parties to be in the same area for communication, for day-to-day -day check-ins, and for building relationships. What I always tell them is that uh, my job is to guide you through your treatment. My concern is for you now and 20 years from now. So when you're done playing hockey, I still want you to have a good shoulder, a good knee. When a player has surgery, it's a pretty traumatic event, no matter how small the surgery may be. And then the first few months are all predicated on getting their motion back, strength, and then a few more months of getting them back into playing condition. For a keel, for a shoulder surgery, that's about five or six months from the time you have surgery to the time that you're back to full contact. So he had to go through that twice now. So he's missed essentially a year of his uh, AHL, NHL career. But watching his day-to-day -day habits, I feel pretty confident he'll, he'll be able to come back and, and, and be healthy and, and still has an opportunity to be a, a really good pro player. It's disappointing to see him have to have these setbacks in his career, but I think we both know that the future is very bright for him. He is somebody who's just so focused on what he wants to achieve that I think this is an obstacle that he's going to overcome.